Hey everybody, it's Logic Bomb 82 here from the Mature Minded Gamers Group. We are checking out a it's a two-year-old, three-year-old game now. It's called Exoplanet First Contact. Still in early access. It's an RPG story mode single player game uh, that's got a very positive review on Steam. You can currently pick it up at normal price for $20. So let's jump in and see what this baby has to offer. The story of my adventures on Catharsis starts with a contract picked up in a bar on the infamous space station Freeport 13. I was hired to transport a group of suspicious geologists and their cargo to the remote system of Tharsis 831 aboard my private spaceship Crystal Betty. Shortly after entering the desert planet's orbit, the ship was hijacked and I was thrown out of the airlock and left to die. Some time later, I woke up in the desert, uncertain how I managed to stay alive, but determined to find Beth and tear the hijackers a new one. All right, so our ship is Crystal Betty, and we're determined to find Beth. I'm not sure who Beth is unless he's talking about his ship. Named Betty, that's a little confusing. Or if uh, Beth is one of the people he was transporting. Possibly. I'm gonna go with that. Really like the artwork in the background here. Really sharp looking. And I did read this game was inspired by like Firefly and stuff like that, so pretty excited to check it out here. Looks like we're getting looted here. Oh. What the hell is happening? Everything hurts. Oh, as if I went through a rock crusher. Uh, I've got to find some sort of human settlement on this damn planet. If it even has one. Quest and not to kick the bucket on the way there. Let's take a look around. Uh, a very Supplies, solid some sort of a weapon will come in handy. Alright, hit Q to scan your surrounding. Use E to interact with objects. Okay, that works. Oh, looks like there's some scrap here to pick up. I don't know if I need all this, but... I'm uh, not one to leave things behind, so. Ooh, a container. We got this thing. Pistol, a flare gun, okay. Some ammo, med kit, okay, a little bit of everything. Take all that if we can, looks like we can. A little more scrap. Excellent. Seem to be able to interact in these boxes. One of those cables. What's this? A dead carcass. Alright. Oh, it's got some meat on it. Don't do anything with that one either. Nope, nope, nope. Not in there. Ooh. Oh, okay, apparently that hurts. I'll do that again. Revival got a new entry. Use inventory or hotbar to take out your weapons. Press H to put it away. Okay, do I have a weapon? My flare gun, I assume? Equip. Oh, yeah. Pops away with the flare gun if we have to. Ooh, a stick, okay. Blood root, whatever that is. Doesn't look like he did very much for that guy, does it? Hey guys, make sure you check out my website, MatureMindedGamers.com. We have a podcast, we cover Star Trek, we cover video games, we cover board games. Really trying to grow that audience. If you're into podcasting, please check it out and leave some feedback. Let us know what you think. I also do written reviews for uh, board games, video games on there. I think I already looted that. Yes, yeah, it's empty. Ooh, that's a cool looking waterfall. Cool looking environment here. I don't know if we can make it over there, but we'll try. Oh, well, that doesn't look safe. Oh, here we're sliding down. Okay. Maybe that's not the right way to go. Check out this other way here. Oh, yeah. 
forgot to scan. Which I remember to do that. I'm not sure really what it shows. You can switch the camera position with the V height and page up and page down. Okay. Page up, page down. Okay. Press J to open your journal. Okay, that's everything we just went over so far. Someone stole your pants. While I was unconscious greeting this beautiful planet to my face, some moron stole my hat, my jacket, and even my pants. I have to get them back. Okay. I open inventory, right click to open items to available actions. If there are any dragon, drop the item to your inventory to the hotbar and press the hotbar key while hovering over it in order to assign it. Okay. Gotcha. Some animal cactus. I don't know what that's going to be good for, but I'm assuming some kind of food. A dead bite bug. Okay. Perform two different types of melee by pressing left or mouse buttons okay another stick but we can craft something with that probably a fire dead bite bug again somebody's beating the bite bugs down with sticks desert melon huh okay looks like it might be something blood root another oh no herbalist staff okay whoa those guys just come or are they here the whole time and I missed it Outcast Looter 2. Hey, where'd you come from, pig skin? Oh, it's that half-dead schmuck from the, uh, from the Oba. Arba, whatever. What the F do you want? Apparently that's cuss in this world. Alright. Oh, so do I. Oh, my name's Jack. Okay, hey, jackasses. I mean, assholes. That's my hat. Stop beating immediately, or I should get going. Well, we're gonna be harsh here. I got a, I got a flare gun, right? Is that so? Well, are you wearing my leather vest? I wanted a Huma skin vest for a long time. Show flare gun. I'm not joking. You scum are the all talk. But when it comes to action, all you can do is beat up the elderly. Two against one. I bet you don't have the guts to take on a real spacer. Hmm. Show off my sweet flare gun. What do you guys think? Let's show the flare gun off. God's in the... Oh, sorry. God, God's in the earth. He has a naga bang. Okay. Is that thing even loaded? He won't reload it in any time anyway. Get behind him. Let's tear him apart. Jack, stop right there, you ass face lowlifes. Maybe I do have a single charge in the flare gun, but that'll be enough for you. Choose which of you gets his ass burned and which gets his head smashed. Alright, Huma, you win. I don't even know why you even care about this old gongo. But you can jagga. Bumeron with him? All I care, let's get out of here, bro. Not so fast, you pieces of shit. The hat. Hope you choke on your stinking hat. If I'd known what a greedy shit its owner is, I wouldn't even uh, I would uh, wouldn't even use it to wipe my ass. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Someone stole my pants, new journal entry. Alright, Herbalist, I just saved you. Thank you, stranger. I thought it was the end of me. They'd break my old bones and leave me to be eaten by a crucus. I admit I'm surprised you managed to disperse those punks without violence. You have a very strong mojo. That was uncalled for, timer. I actually wash myself regularly. What? No mojo is that. That's uh, uh, what the word I see. Uh, that's uh, humor. Could you please bring me my staff? The bastards threw it away, but it shouldn't be around here nearby. Is this the staff you're talking about? Thank you. Oh, yeah, I picked it up earlier. Looks like a stick. Thank you very much. I can't imagine myself without it. You should follow me. I can lead you to the safer location. And what do you? What do we have to talk about? For instance, I might know of a way for you to clothe your pink body before it burns under the sun. All right, lead on. Follow me. Excuse me. We got some kind of a dome over there. Is that where we're heading there, herbalist? Going right by it apparently. Look what's in there. Oh, what was that? Alloy. Okay. Press P to open the crafting menu. Upgrade a stick to a cactus bat. All right, we'll do that as soon as I follow this guy, so I don't get lost here. Oh, he's got his own little cave. Okay, hold on a second, there, buddy. I'll talk to you one second. 
see about this cactus bat. Oh, right here it is. I think I can make two, but I don't think I need two. Let's just go with one. Cactus bat antigen in the inventory. Stick, 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 stick. Cactus bat. Alright. Let's equip that cactus bat. There we go. And here we are. The bastards won't dare to stir trouble so close to the camp. At least they attract the attention of the camp guards. Alright, Huma. You help me and I'll help you. You want to get some clothes first? You won't get far in the dis desert barefoot. Alright, sure. Let's do it, buddy. Bring me two pieces of cloth and we'll need to protect the tender heels. Won't hurt you to cover your pink belly from the sun as well, or you're, t you're turn red like a bite bug on a stick in a heartbeat. And you're also going to need a better weapon. Uh, okay. Fine, thanks. Unless all the episodes of surviving on the wild planets naked and without one leg. By Bear Giles. That's funny. Or Grayer, Grayer Biles. Alright, uh, let's do it about the cloth. Do you have it? Where can I get it? Look through the piles of garbage around you. Other outposts might have it too. Me neither, but it's not easy to find guns here. I wouldn't have made you a knife, but that requires materials and tools. If you were, uh, weren't were to rely on some metal trash, either breaks or backfires on you. Better snap off a suitable branch from a pine, a pain cactus. They grow everywhere. If it breaks, you can always use it for a torch or as firewood. Okay. I think we're good. Let's we'll find some cloth here and we'll get some armor made. I obviously want to check out this dome before we get too much farther. Hold on, something up here. Oh, a vacuum box. Electric scrap and electric scrap, right? Oh, electric and mechanical scrap. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Oh, supply tube. Slime metal. Okay, whatever that is. More blood root. Alright, let's check check this place out. Oh, cough! That's what I needed. Perfect. A, a joint? Like an Okay. I don't know what kind of joints we're talking about. We're gonna take it though. What's making that noise? I thought it was like it's right here. I don't know what that is. Alright, let's go check out this bubble here. Oh! Just a joint. Can't be leaving joints hanging or laying around. Oh, some more stuff first. Oh, a basket or something. Alright, weird. There's nothing in there, okay. a dead person. Oh, basket. With medical scraps. Okay. Can't pick that up there? No. Oh, oh, I think I'm in a circle. I don't know what this is. The show. Hey, old guy. Outcast farmer. Ah, oh, I'm starving, Huma. You got a bite? Some shinies, maybe? How's it going? No rest from these sand fleas. Can't sleep. Can't even set peacefully. What are you doing here? Suffering, that's all we outcasts do. Suffer from heat, cold, hunger, illness, regrets, day by day. Till we die, gods and earth take our souls back to the primal darkness. Okay. The village was raided by terraforming bastards while I was away. You know the rest. Everyone I know is either dead or dying in the damn mines. No tribe will accept me because they think I will bring bad luck to them. I'm not even good enough of a fighter to join the scalp hunters. I don't belong anywhere except here. Who's in charge? Big Hat, the old asshole who thinks he's some kind of elder in our little cozy village. See that big rock with a hole at the back of the camp? Um, there in his cave, he spends most of his days watching how we crawl in the dirt below. The bastard probably ate a full pot of bite bug porridge and is sleeping, as always, in his chair while we starve and freeze every night. Okay, do you have any tips? Don't eat rotten carcass meat, Huma. I tried once and then puked so bad I thought I should see my guts on the floor. Desert melons are good, but don't overdo it either, otherwise you will explode from the other end. I wish I had some smoked horn hog, though. Who doesn't want some horn hog? Damn. I wonder if I can just harvest this guy's melons. Yeah, I guess we'll wait. He seems to be starving. What do we got up here? 
firewood, huh? Bug on a stick? This dude's got all kinds of food. What's he talking about starving? Look at all this guy's got. There's some baskets back here. Your water. Yeah, we'll take your water. You can say anything about being thirsty. Bed. Dirty bottle water. Okay, campfire. Game saved. E to leave camp, T to skip time, I to open inventory. Okay. Can I cook my meat here? Uh, the cook. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Roasted meat. Can I cook this? No. How about blood root? No, no cooking blood root. Okay. Desert melon. No cooking desert melon. That's all the food I picked up. Okay. Alright, E to leave camp. Let's do that. Can we rested? Uh, I don't know if we need rest, to be honest. I don't see an exhaustion meat or anything. More desert melons. Boy, from being starving, he's got a lot of melons. I don't know if I should take any of this or not. Definitely kind of want to shovel. Alright, he didn't get aggressive. I don't think he mind. Maybe we'll just take some of these melons just to have some. How's this, wait, did you say there's like some other people here? Back in a cave hole or something? I don't see anybody. What that guy's talking about? Oh! Okay, why does this place have a bubble? That doesn't make any sense. This is my dude. I got a little bit of cloth. Let's see if it was enough. I guess I don't have enough. I think it did say I needed two. Whoops. Whoa. Alright, try to find some more cloth for this guy. Oh, hey, look at that. Alright, I think that's two pieces. Let's see if he can make my shoes. Let's have a look. All right, I have a piece of rubber here somewhere for the soul. Here, don't put it on. Nice. Level two. I feel like you great. Practically an anger now. No clue who Gonk Honks and Astronauts are, but I hope this was a compliment to my work. If you want something better, it would require more materials and time, and my tools which I left in the hideout. A ship, sorry, but I don't know anything about starships. I think you may be better to get the nearest human settlement and start looking around there. How do I get there? The nearest town is New Hope, and a Borium on foot can reach it in about a week's time. You, on the other hand, most likely require twice that time. Two weeks at least. The road is difficult and dangerous. It's better to go well prepared. You should head for the Fort of Humans. It's not far, just north of Windscream Canyon. There you can join a caravan to town. It's much safer that way. Makes sense. Understood. How do I find the fort? First, you'll need to get out of this damn place through a narrow rocky passage. Okay? Alright. Alright, so we're back. Got a new save there in this cave. Still. I don't have a map yet. I haven't found anybody else to talk to. I'm a little lost to what to do next. I 
don't see a button or a secret way in or anything. Like this is the actual entrance on this side. Lots of dead bodies outside this town. Oh, this is the way up. Oh, there we go. Yuma, you're not from around here, are you? A newcomer to our camp. That's right, why? You happen to come across that crazy old abori with grass on his hat on the way here? Yeah, we'll say we've seen him. Careful, he's a dangerous fellow and there's a reward for any information about him. So where have you seen him? Any information about him is important to us. Oh, I don't want to tell where he's at. Hmm. Ugh, I don't know what to do here. I, I didn't really want to even rat that, rat that guy out, but I did. I think I'll keep the no secret. decision, but we'll find out. Alright. We have made it into the town. Too big place. Carry the stone. having an original iPhone. So you got some jobs for us. Eating a bite bug on a stick. Oh nice, gonna upgrade my T280. Okay, that's not like a win-win right here. Five samples.
the scanner upgrade. First quest, pretty excited. to save it and call it a night. Our first playthrough. Session one. Game saved. All right, everybody, I'm going to call it for now. Uh, again, this game is called Exoplanet. It's available on Steam right now for $20. Um, Exoplanet First Contact is the exact name, excuse me. You can pick it up on Steam regular price for $20. It's an explorer, exploration RPG, single player game. So far I'm liking it, it does things a little bit different, but I, I kind of like that. I like that it's not the same old thing over and over. So definitely check it out, I recommend it. And look for more play sessions, because I'm probably going to continue my campaign here and I'll make another video for it. So have a great day everybody.